you know, I'm still like, you know, a little hurt that I didn't get the win. All kind of, it's dead quiet. And all of a sudden he goes, man, I wish you had went to the body more. And I was like, man, me too, man. That's the only thing I wish I had done. You got to get the arrow's body. That's the one, the one thing I wish I had done more was go to his body. And then, and then with, uh, with Terrence, it just, it was a moment, you know, and you know, that moment I wish had never come for me. So. You know, I don't, I don't want to take the shine away from him, but obviously mine's obviously preparation in, in lockdown, not having my, my main trainer with me, Dominic Ingle, having a trainer who was Spanish who couldn't really speak English, this were against Terence Crawford. You know, uh, preparation in that fight were all wrong. Um, and I think with, you know, obviously we're all Spence, fighting Golovkin and, and fighting at middleweight and then going on my holiday and eating like those fighters do. And then having... I've been Errol Spence as my mandatory and I've been coming back down to 147. As you know, I'm a huge 147 fighter back then. And, you know, not getting the best out of myself in training and killing myself to make the weight and not being able to push on on the second half of the fight with, you know, with, with him, you know. So mine would be come down to preparation and my lifestyle. But I don't want to take the light away from them two fighters. We unpack. We unpack, we unpack, coming to your live boxing ego, unpack, yeah. We unpack, we unpack, we unpack, coming to your live. So, basically, realistically, I don't feel I was doing my true training with Dominic Engel. So in my fight with Bud, I met my trainer and IJ. And basically, it wasn't my true weight. So I couldn't give Bud the chocolate right hand brownie. And a couple things didn't go my way. I should have felt like Batman, but I didn't, you know. Kill Brooks said that preparation was preparation H. It was sh Let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Listen, the best in the business is back, and I'm going to keep slamming you on your head with the facts. Spence Crawford, amazing fight, July 29th, be there, be square. Kel Brook, Sean Porter, Redman, and Virgil Hunter, they just did a roundtable. PBC's running their promotional stuff all access comes on later today. And I thought it was interesting. The clip you heard at the beginning, that was Kill Brook. And he was basically asking like, hey, ahead of the Crawford fight, ahead of the Errol Spence fight, what would you do different? You know, and Kill Brook told you. So different let my preparation. It could have been different with Bud. He just told you. He said his preparation was not good and it was not there for bud crawford hmm who else told you that oh that's right me that's who okay me the great ego stradamus strikes again and every time if you make a mistake you gotta pay i'm the money mayweather of boxing talk i'm real surgical when i say these things people either agree or don't agree i don't really care because i know that i'm speaking the truth i know what i'm saying is valid so i don't care either way i hit record you're gonna feel how you want to feel about the truth and then i move on with my day probably get something delicious to eat and chill out because i'm boxing ego but this is precisely what i told you kel brook got his trainer from instagram let me remind y'all fools, he got his trainer from Instagram for the Crawford fight. This is unheard of. So you see, it says The Sun, a UK publication, and he's from the UK, says, Kell of a move, meet Kell Brooks stand-in trainer, Carlos Formento, who he met on Instagram, <laughs> and will shape him for the Crawford bout November 2020. And you could see Kell Brook has he's donning the mask because this was definitely during the pandemic when Crawford fought him. So that in and of itself 
creates issue. And I'll get to that in a second. But the article says Brooke, who usually spent time training with Engel, has returned to Spain, but instead to work with Carlos Formento. Who is Carlos Formento? Nobody knows. Kel Brook, he followed Formento on social media and suggested they link up ahead of his mammoth challenge against Crawford. Brook, age 34, so he was 34 years old when he fought Crawford, told BBC Sport, quote, he is a guy I followed on Instagram, hardcore rapper, but he followed him on Instagram because I like his style. I had never worked with him previously because Dominic Engel is my trainer, number one. I messaged him on Instagram and basically said, let's work together. The first day I knew that we jailed unbelievably. He is basically obsessed. He is passionate. And that's everything I need for this fight. Brooke will step back down to welterweight first time since losing his IBF strap to Errol Spence three years prior in 2017. So why are we bringing this up? Because of the Bud Buddies. Terrence Crawford, see, this is the thing. Terrence Crawford, when he's making his assessments or whatever you want to call it, and he says these things, and I got to rebut because he purposefully leaves out information, I feel. So Errol Spence was like, yeah, I messed up his other eye. I messed up his other eye. And Crawford, and I understand it's going to be back and forth with Errol. He thinks he's superior. Terrence Crawford thinks he's superior. I ain't got no beef with that. But the point I'm making is, is very simple. Crawford is purposely leaving out information to try to make a point. So at the press conference, Crawford would say, or just in the interviews in general, Crawford would say things like, what did I do to Sean Porter that you couldn't do? Which is normally fine, but to use that as an argument and the catalyst of your argument, you would have to then really ask yourself, where was Sean Porter when you fought him? Versus Sean Porter when Errol Spence fought him. And the di the differences were remarkable. Sean Porter was coming off of Ugas' tough fight, which would prepare you for another tough fight because you're fighting a world-class Ugas with amateur experience who is capable of later beating Pacquiao. And then you're going into the Errol Spence. So I think that's better preparation. In addition, it was a close fight, tough fight. And Sean Porter remained a champion. When Crawford fought him, he was on a 400 day layoff and his last fight was Sebastian Formea, an unheard of German guy. And he didn't really have any activity and he was a podcaster. So for Crawford to make these statements like, oh, what did I do to Porter? And also he keeps saying, what did I do to Kell Brook? Now Kell Brook is telling you out of his own mouth that his preparation wasn't good. Now he did say, I wish I didn't fight Triple G and then move back down, you know, blah, blah, blah. But Arrow was his mandatory that's between him and Eddie Hearn. I always told you the Triple G. Yeah, no, guys, that Max. This guy's his punch. You know, I told you that fight was silly. So that's his bad. That's him and his management. That's their issue. You wanted to move up to middleweight. Errol Spence was your mandatory before that. You should have just stayed at welterweight and fought Errol Spence. And then you would only have one loss on your record instead of the two back to back losses and two messed up eyes. You know what I mean? But again, that's what he decided. So that's why I'm focusing more on what he said about Crawford. He got his trainer on Instagram and he just told you. I just told you who I thought I would. Good God. He just told you. He says his trainer didn't even speak English. So you would ask yourself, if you're entering a fight with a world-class guy like Crawford during the pandemic. So the reason I said I would bring up the pandemic is I, again, got to take you back in time to that time because you can't just look at a person now or this and that you got to see what was happening at that time right you have to understand boxing if you really want to follow it there's a lot of guys that are washed up but let's say when floyd mayweather fought him they weren't washed up they were top rated guys you know what i mean so or whoever the person is right oscar de la hoya whoever right so you got to look at who they were at the time kill brook is telling you who he was at the time Hadn't made the weight in three years, got a trainer off Instagram that he didn't know, and he just told you his trainer didn't even speak English. So what kind of arrangement is that? Some guy, you've seen some highlights. You don't have the common language, so there's a language barrier. You never worked with him, as I just showed you, and you're entering a fight with 
not your longtime trainer or promoter, Eddie Hearn and Dominic Ingle in tow. Instead, <laughs> you have this random foreign trainer that you just like some IG clips. I mean, you can't tell me that this was the best version of Kell Brook, which is my point exactly. Henceforth, Crawford keeps saying, what did I do to Porter? And how quickly did I get Kell Brook? But you have to put everything in context, people. And just because I can, because I am the best in the business and it's not even close, I'll leave you with this. Kell Brook's longtime trainer, Dominique Engel, refused to train Kell Brook for the Terrence Crawford fight, and you will see it on the screen. And the reason being for this, Dominique Engel, he was revealing at that time why he wasn't. And he says, quote, I'm the trainer. I'm not going to have anyone tell me how they want their camp running. Some fighters might do that, but it's never been that way with me. I stipulate how the camp goes and what we're going to do. If he's not happy with that, then he can do it somewhere else. I don't have people tell me how they can train because I'm the trainer, so I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to have someone come and dictate to me, not that Kel did. Realistically, Kel doesn't need to be anywhere else but in Sheffield. Why else would you take the risk during these times, COVID? Why would you take the risk and go abroad? He's in a big fight with Crawford. Whether it's an exercise and saving money or whatever it is, that's down to him. I have people say you're going to come on board for the last six weeks. And I say, no, I'm not going to do that. You wouldn't want to ask me to do that because I've trained people for 12 weeks. I needed to know from the beginning of the camp to the end what they're capable of, not go in half blind. I can't wave a magic wand for people to make them win a fight. It's what you do in camp. So basically, Kell Brook was trying to train in Spain for whatever reason. And it was going to be a, a half-hearted camp, which makes sense because Kell Brook is now saying that he couldn't train and prepare like he wanted to. Again, why this is important is because Terrence Crawford is stating that Porter and Kell Brook, the two mutual opponents that Arrow had, he's making it sound like he fought the better version of those fighters, which we know is Cap. And... I remember Errol Spencer like, yeah, I beat Kill Brook. I, I hear, heard his other eye and things like that. And I heard Terrence Crawford literally say something to the effect of Kill Brook said he was in the best shape of his life. Kill Brook said he's in the best shape of his life. Well, why would he, if he was in the best shape of his life, then why is his trainer, longtime trainer, Dominic Engel, refusing to train him and saying, hey, with all this limited, restrictive, the nature of, of gyms and whatnot, I'm not going abroad for no half camp with Kill Brook. Why is he saying these things? And then when they fought Amir Khan, he got back with Dominic Engel. So Kell Brook did a one-off with this random Spanish trainer, whoever, Carlos Formenta, that he met off IG. And Crawford is really trying to have me believe, and the Bud Buddies trying to have me believe that somehow Crawford, three years later, when Kell Brook hadn't been fighting at welterweight, somehow, some way, Crawford fought the better version of the guy. You know what I mean? And that's why I have to make this video to set the record straight. We all know Kell Brook and Sean Porter, those were champions that Arrow fought, and they were definitely more active and in better shape and more rearing to go than was the case in the pandemic in 2020 when Crawford fought without his longtime trainer, without his longtime promoter, and some guy he met off IG, and he just told you his preparation was bad. Checkmate, best in the business. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. 
out of the box you can connect to any console or PC, Bluetooth ready, with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.